up, guys? Bass Drop Keys, your friendly neighborhood Negro and a rookie mycologist. I want to welcome you all to my brand new Mushroom YouTube channel. Now, if you're watching this, that means that you probably know me from being in the 420 community. But now what I want to do is I want to teach myself how to grow mushrooms. All this channel is, is one person's journey to try to teach themselves how to grow mushrooms. In the last video that you saw me do in the series, you saw me do the second flush of the all-in-one mushroom bag. In today's video, I'm gonna cover the third and fourth flush. Also, I'm gonna rehydrate it so that way we can get even more flushes. All right, so it's a week later, January the 31st, and you can see that a bunch more mushrooms have already grown back. If you look on the aluminum foil, you can see right there that purple, those are actually spores. There was two mushrooms that grew on that little piece of substrate that's on the side of the big cake. There was two mushrooms that grew out of that and I didn't catch them in time so they sporulated. So that's what you see right there. But now you can see that we have a bunch more mushrooms that we gotta harvest. This right here is gonna be the third flush from the all-in-one mushroom bag. I still have not dunked the cake yet. On the second flush, you saw me take my flare saw bottle and I just sprayed the cake once again. So I think that you guys have already seen me do the harvest and put them in the dehydrator enough times that I don't need to do it over and over again. It's the same process over and over again. But for these mushrooms right here, after I did the harvest and I dried them, and oh yeah, speaking of the harvest, I did find out during this harvest that when they're on the bottom like this, you don't have to cut them, just pull them and they come right out. They just slide out really easy. All these mushrooms dried ended up being five grams. So for the second flush, it was 6.8 grams. For the third flush, five grams of dried mushrooms. All right, so we're gonna fast forward 10 days. It's now February the 10th. And I've noticed that the growth with the mushrooms has really slowed down. After 10 days, you can see that we have a couple of them right here that's grew out, that's it. So I went ahead and cut those off. So at this point, because the growth has slowed down, is when I decided that I was gonna go ahead and dunk the cake. Me just spraying it with the flare saw bottle is not doing anything anymore. So I think that we need to dunk the cake. The only problem is I don't have time to do this now. I have videos due with some of my sponsors, so I gotta do that. So now we fast forward it two more days, which is February the 12th or yesterday. And this is the day that we're gonna dunk our cake. Before I dunk it, there was a couple more mushrooms on here that I picked off, but you can see that the growth is nothing like it was before. So this is gonna be a great time to dunk it. I also wanna mention that the mushrooms you saw from the 10th and the 12th, when I dried them, there was only two grams. But technically, that is the fourth flush, so you can go ahead and put down two grams for the fourth flush. But at any rate, it's time to dunk the cake. What I've done is I took a monotub that I had inside the tent, and I took my cake off the aluminum foil and put it inside of there. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start filling it up with water, and once I notice that it starts floating, I'm going to take this 12 quart shoe box that I have, put it on top, and I'm going to put water inside of this shoe box, and it's going to act as a weight. It's going to hold down the cake underneath the water. We want the entire cake to be submerged, so it's important that you have some kind of weight on top that's going to hold it down because it will float. Now what I'm doing is I'm doing two hours per inch of substrate, and so I'm just guesstimating that this is about four inches high. So I'm gonna let this sit in here for at least eight hours. All right guys, well it's been 10 hours and we're gonna take our cake out of here. I'm just gonna take the shoe box off, pour the water out. Then I'm gonna pour the water out of the big monotub. Once I do that, I'm very, very happy with how the water has rehydrated the cake. So I'm gonna put it back in the max shield bin. And I do wanna mention that I did add more water to the perlite and I also put a brand new piece of aluminum foil down as well. I put the top back on the max shield bin, I put it back inside the tent and I'm gonna just let it sit and do its thing. Hopefully in a matter of days, we'll start seeing some more pins forming and that'll be a good sign that we're heading towards our fifth flush. So all things considered, this grow bag has really done great by me. If you wanna get one for yourself, I got it from Amazon. Click the link that's in the description. Also, if you'll come over to the Rookie Mycologist Instagram account and click on the pin post, I give you six sites that I've already ordered from that I know 100% is legit. Just come over to Instagram and you'll see the information 
right there. Now, before I get out of here, you guys have probably noticed the sweet shirt that I'm wearing. This is the Rookie All Over shirt. If you wanna support me and the channel, come over to the merch website, therookiemycologist.com. I have some great shirt designs, mugs, hoodies, slides, stickers, and I'm adding new stuff all the time. Also, if you're feeling my logo, I will put the artist that did it in the description box. You can hit them up and get one for yourself. I really appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys the next time. Rookie out.